hands and tie them around like that. Thanks. I'm super curious. Responses. Had a bug. Oh, interesting. Oh, I see how that could maybe cause problems. So they gave multi word responses, they were fine, mm -hmm. but it clipped their answer. Actually, it's not even that. It's 
So the way I'm doing the NLP is a little bit hacky, and I paid for it. Hi. <laughs> yeah, <I> camera. <laughs> I was doing the NLP was a hack and um, it's still a hack because um, but it's a hack that now handles that problem yeah that's good well, I mean it's a hack that worked just fine as long as I gave it the right information mm -hmm. but the reason it's a hack is that like that's really sort of illogical information for it to need like a one word answer would be weird no ignore the one word answer thing it was oh. there's a there's a segment before the response and there's a segment after the response mm -hmm. and it's important that those get passed into the um natural language processor mm -hmm. so that the output can be the perfect like so, basically, in order to know where the response, so I'm parsing the whole sentence, but I only care about that one segment. Mm -hmm. So I have to parse the whole thing and then identify that segment. And I'm doing that by knowing what came before it. Okay. Rather than knowing what's in it or like where it is in some more useful way. Does that make sense? Yeah, I. It seems like that should work. It it works really well, yeah. But as a person, I think I should just be able to go into the sentence and find where the response is supposed to be. Uh huh. As a person, it's hard for me to remember that the computer doesn't know where the response is supposed to be, so it needs to know exactly what the beginning part of the sentence was. Uh huh. So I accidentally when I gave people, when I filled in the answer for people, I uh. accidentally get, like, I still sent it through the parser just to, like, keep everything the same and not have to make as many changes, um, but I didn't give the parser the beginning of the sentence. Uh. I thought I did, but I didn't. But in that, in, in that case, you didn't give the beginning? Yeah, so I actually don't know how it ever worked. <laughs> um, Those are fun. Yeah. <laughs> when you when you find something and you're like, oh, okay, that makes sense that it didn't work there. Yeah. Wait, but then how did it ever work? Yeah, so the problem is that it didn't know what the beginning was mm -hmm. and I don't know so but it might have so when people said when the disease was or when the illness was a cold mm -hmm. uh, the natural language processor ended up with cold which is better than nothing Hmm. Um, but it's not a cold. Yeah, and I don't know exactly how it ended up with cold. I know that most of the time it ended up with just a blank. <laughs> okay. So. But you're pretty sure it's working now? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure I identified the uh, main source of error and made it not be an error anymore there might be others yeah yeah but other errors people are doing the experiment now and it's not working for them thanks alpha testers mm -hmm. even if you don't know your alpha testers I'm it, sure it, it worked for me on like a few stress tests. So. 
it probably wasn't as stressful for them as it was for you. Hopefully not. Some Good. of them were really sweet. Yeah? Yeah. What, what do you mean? Did they say nice things? Like, oh, it didn't work, but I love you. Um, so some of them, despite the fact that there were some grammatical errors, still thought it was pretty cool that he was interacting with them. And they said so. One of them mentioned a friend of theirs who has such an illness, and I said, that's really nice, that's nice. Okay. Um, one of them said they liked how well programmed it was. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> the part that they did. Yeah. So I guess. It, I'm, it is really fun when it does you. It is. I agree. I had fun with it. Any closing words on the res resolving of that bug? Um, I don't code good. <laughs> you want to say goodbye to the camera? <laughs> okay, bye.